Singaporeans might soon have to pay up to 10% more for their cup of coffee. Now, that's because the price of coffee beans has shot up. Some suppliers even doubling it. With a blend of supply chain disruptions and bad weather affecting those crops, industry players are in the middle of what they call the perfect storm. Clara Lee finds out more. Coffee beans like these are keeping suppliers up at night for all the wrong reasons, especially for coffee manufacturer Bon Cafe. As of now, this warehouse contains more than 60 tonnes of coffee beans, which produces more than 4 million cups of coffee. But it's only operating at around 50% of its full capacity. And that's because one of its major suppliers in Brazil has been hit with lower crop yields due to adverse weather conditions. Typically, the bags will be stacked all the way up to where I'm standing. More than 300 tonnes of coffee beans pass through its roastery every year, bound not only for Singapore, but also Malaysia, the Philippines and China. Securing the supply it needs means it must avoid putting all their eggs in one basket. For players like us, um, you know, we could actually help to diversify our sourcing uh, uh, portfolio so that we can actually help ease the current situation a little bit better. Other sources include Colombia and neighbouring Indonesia. But wholesale prices are hovering close to a decade high. Bon Cafe says passing on some of these costs to consumers is now on the table. This year, as we, we talk about having the economy opening up, um, we are probably looking at a good um, 6%, 10% of increment as we speak. The ripple effects of the Russia-Ukraine war are also pushing prices up. The gas and the oil price is also soaring, so the transportation costs have added up on top of the cost. So roughly the prices have gone up between 250% to 300% or even more now. Singapore's labour shortage is also taking a toll on coffee retailers. One specialty coffee franchise has turned to automated coffee machines to make up for the manpower crunch. And we're actually implementing them at a few of our cafes to see how it can help with the speeding up the process um, and specifically for takeaway coffee or also for uh, some staff who, quite, who aren't as skilled in versus maybe latte art or extraction. We found that it really helped. But he admits it's not a one-fix solution. There's no band-aid that can, it's a, it's a long-term goal that we need to work with and I think that it has to start from the top uh, and we have to work together to realise how we're going to do this. And from a company that prides itself on its handcrafted roasters, he says that ultimately the industry will have to look to automation, now more than ever.